Well, welcome to Vintage Farmhouse Antiques and today we're going to run you over and show you this absolutely beautiful Thomas Minton Chinese Tree 2067. Now it's important the pattern number on Chinese Tree because they made it over a very long period of time and in many different uh, colour variations. So uh, when you're looking at a Chinese tree label, as we've got an example here on the bottom of the sugar bowl, let's get it the right way up. Lovely pictorial uh, puce uh, urn and uh, crest mark really, isn't it? Chinese tree, number in there, then it's hand uh, finished by the decorators 2067. And uh, the colours, all the enamels, this is basically a brown and white transfer print design by the period when this was being manufactured. And these pieces date from between uh, 1840 and 1860. So they were transfer printing this and then all this enamel decoration, the colour in here, was all hand applied by the decorators. And you can see what a skill they had in terms of the way it's toned down and just runs almost in a flow blue pattern sort of uh, design where the pinks it's a single color that but it goes from dark pink right the way through to a very pale and the inner bowl decoration on these is just spectacular again just look at that this is the sugar basin there's also as part of this set which was uh, typical of sets of this uh, era a slops bowl now this isn't going to go on sale unfortunately because it is cracked right the way through and uh, of china from this area that's not uncommon to find a lot of damage on it and there's a whole raft of pieces that uh, we are not going to be able to to offer for sale due to the damage on them but again the detailing and just beautiful colors the chinese tree by minton has on it is absolutely stunning let's show you one of the teacup trios these are particularly beautiful just let's get a detailed focus on this piece there we go, shows you it in all its beauty. Beautiful open bowl teacup with this high supported arch round handle. It's slightly oval actually, but look, they've decorated the handle. Pedestal base with the gilt round the base. Couldn't really squeeze much more colour and decoration onto the outer aspect of this teacup, could they? And then with the gilt detailing all hand applied around the uh, arch and support of the handle. Then the central section, again with this beautiful... Chinese tree design, flowing magnolias, roses, chrysanthemums, all sorts of uh, chinois style Chinese uh, inspired floral decoration. Minton was an absolute master of this. Around this period, 1820s through to 1840s, he was reintroducing a range of traditional or older designs which would then be produced by them for almost a hundred years. Chinese tree in its various variations was one of them and the other which is incredibly well recognized is Indian tree so there is a, a link between the, the two patterns. Around the same period Minton really benefited from what was going on in France at the time. A lot of decorators came over to the UK to escape the uh, political upheaval in France around the sort of 1815, uh, 1820, 1830 range and uh, a lot of the Sèvres decorators who were really very skilled painters came and ended up working for Thomas Minton around that period. I love the colour in this side or dessert plate. It's quite a large plate for a, a side plate. It's more of a dessert or salad plate but uh, the, the pinks, yellows and greens that they've used on the Chinese tree with the very subtle umber brown transfer border design and then it's detailed again in hand applied umber around the outer aspect again with these beautiful Chinese tree urn marks there get it up the right way they've actually put the catalogue reference upside down on this one because these were being produced en masse it was a very popular pattern for Minton and this is a typical style of tea set. Would have been a much larger set if you had to look at what we've got left over from the saucers. You can appreciate that there would have been probably a 12 or 18 person tea set here. Another shape cut which was also common. These were quite often sold as trios around this time. So you'd have a, a taller, smaller cup, an open bowl big teacup, this could be used for coffee as well, and then you'd have one saucer with that. The saucers are interesting that they are not 
your typical later designer saucer with a, a well that holds the teacup in very tightly. There's no well in these, just a slight depression for it to sit in. But that's absolutely typical of the, the era. Again, uh, throw back to when you just had the tea bowls and a saucer plate without a, a well to hold it in place. So beautiful collection of mint and china. These really are spectacular, both for the, the size of the collection, but also the condition of the majority of pieces. There are some bits that won't make it as far as commercial sale due to the damage that we'll keep and use and love around the vintage farmhouse here. But the rest is going on sale as trios, duos and uh, spare pieces that are in suitable condition for commercial sale through the Vintage and Antiques website. So do follow the link uh, below in YouTube and it will take you through to show you more listings for this particular China with all the dimensions, measurements and any condition notes you need to be aware of. Thanks for watching.